Hey guys, crying because we've only got 144 subscribers. We need the more subscribers. But nah, Mel and I, not crying. Although sometimes a good cry feels good, doesn't it? But no, uh, got Mel and I a few weeks back. Uh, a week Saturday ago. So we got all the metal taken out uh, with the hospital. But unfortunately, never went bloody into the sunlight. Just start streaming again. So, these quality sheets. So anyway, welcome back. So, what have I done there? It's done the wrong button. So, welcome back to the channel. Again, if you haven't already, please like, subscribe. Kenny's Auto Solutions, get that done. Bish bash, bosh. Hey, welcome back everybody. Welcome back. Again, if you haven't already, give us a little subscribe. Eh? This video is sponsored by me and me only. So if you want to subscribe, maybe in the future, somebody will sponsor these videos. Um, and we can make some better content for you guys. So anyway, back to the BMW guys, just an update on it, update on it. We're going to replace the engine basically. So thanks to BMW as well. Uh, they offered us a deal that we could not refuse on it. It just made sense. It made sense, you know, we're going to do a timing chain on it. We could do all that. We know there's some alloy through the engine. We can see there's been some contact there. So we could do the chain on it and we could still have issues with it. Um, you know, we could do the big end shells, the, the main crank shells as well, the clone rod bearings. Um, we could do all that jazz, you know. We could do all that jazz and find out we'll get bent balls or something like that as well. So, you know, already what we've found, so you can see what we've got on the vehicle. That's my C-Tech charger there, sorry, uh, we were charging uh, the Sprinter van. So, I'll put this back where it's meant to be. So you can see we've got all the sub frame there, so it's, it's not an easy task. Um, and you can see all the, ooh, all the alloy, so it's no good. Um, the crank itself actually looks okay, um, but you can just see how much here. There's a big lump of alloy coated up in there as well. So, aye, uh, it's not good. It's not good, to be honest. It's not good. So... Put the charger over the charge station there, so GYS, C-Tech, big hotel, can't go wrong. So, and there's the lovely timing tools that we specifically bought for this vehicle. Um, there's its oil, there's some of its oil, All right. so you can see some bits in it, you can see some floaty bits, wee bits of metal, something, so, and you can see the cornrod shell, so you can actually see that there. Where it's been contacting. So we'll get a torch, just make that a little easier for you guys. Hold on, bear with us. So we've got a torch, we'll stick it on that timing tool there. So if you can see that, guys. Here, oh, come on, hey. Let's see if that's any better. Stay. Right, if you don't want to stay, we'll see if we can set it like that. Um, oh, guys, okay, can maybe see the shell. So let's see, let's see if we can set this up. So you can see on it, you can see the difference in the colour. And you can see where it's contacted the crank. So if you see that, that map's only come from one place and it's come off of that crankshaft. So obviously the crankshaft is made of a solid, solid steel. Um, and it's polished and machined, it's machined and polished. Um, and um, it's obviously harder than the shell, so that is what it's designed to do. It's uh, if it does come into contact, it shows it doesn't mark this. Uh, however, there's so many machine parts on this, so over here as well, we've got this uh, balance shaft. So there's a balance shaft there, which, if you look inside there, that is machine surfaces as well. So that would probably want replaced as well. So that oil pump balance shaft, we can see all the varnishing on it. Um, so there, yeah. And then you've got your cylinder head as well. Now we did check the cylinder head, I think we did show that. Um, and we didn't find any any pickup on it really. But we can just we can well we can see it all. We can see it all on the sump. Um, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pull the rest of this out now, I think, and and put it on a pallet until the new one comes. Um, and then we'll get the bits that we can salvage, swapped over, so all your inlet manifold, all that kind of stuff. Um, obviously, your active engine mountains there as well. Um, 
get the clutch off it, flywheel swapped over as well. Um, comes with a lot of new gaskets as well, and a two-year warranty as well for BMW as well. So it's not bad, and we must say thank you to BMW as well. It was just it was too good an offer to refuse, I think, on it. So I thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't already, please give us a little like and subscribe, guys. Don't make me cry anymore for subscribers. Don't make me beggies. So yep. We've got the BMW, we're just waiting on the engine now, so we're waiting on the engine, um, it's on order, so hopefully it'll be here, I think the end of September it is on back order, so um, we're hoping it's going to be here as soon as possible.